Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Stefan speaking to you and this is episode number four of the Chatbot Page Hacks uh, series. So that's really, really cool. Uh, again, a very, very short and simple video where we explain something about the greeting text uh, this time around and why you need to actually add that to your Facebook page. And if you have Clever Messenger, why you should consider adding a local greeting text as well. I mean, we are the only ones that are actually giving you the capability of doing this. Uh, very, very great feature I uh, may add. Uh, and it's something I'm going to show to you uh, as well. Now, I do want to uh, make it very simple for you to understand. So what we are going to do right here, I'm going to uh, first show you what the greeting text is by showing um, uh, this as a, or basically viewing this page, the Clever Messenger page as a visitor right there. And uh, this pops up the uh, chat window again. And uh, this is something we have discussed in a, in a previous video as well. As you can see right here, this is the chat window. You can uh, see right here, it says typically replies instantly. And right here, it says, hello, Stefan, you're about to join the best chatbot experience. Now, that, that particular sentence, that phrase is the greeting text. And you can actually use that phrase to, uh, to make it a little bit more captivating, make it a little bit more inviting so that people actually click on that get started button. Now, it looks uh, different right here in this chat box right now. Uh, it also shows inside your mobile and it shows on messenger.com as well. So um, that greeting text is actually everywhere. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what's also cool is that you can use personalization. Right, so you can actually use the, the first name, the last name of the person that is actually viewing your chat. Yeah, your your yeah, your Facebook chat. Now, let me just go back right here and show you where you can actually uh, set this up. Again, if you have a Clever Messenger account, you do not do this step. You actually skip this step because we actually manage that for you. Um, anyways, we're now, uh, on a admin perspective and now i need to go to settings right there clicking on that it redirects us to this page and then under messaging it's it's under starting a messenger conversation and right here you can see show a greeting text now you simply click on this uh, toggle right there and you uh, click on enable and now it's on and you can actually see that it is the same thing we have put in uh, earlier on clever messenger because we actually send this to facebook so that they can actually use that right so you can actually change it right here you got a nice little preview you can see that you can add personalization you can add the first name of the recipient the last name the full name uh, a facebook page link making it easier for them to um, get to your page. Um, probably very good idea to include um, if people are primarily coming in via the messenger uh, side of things on their phone. Uh, you can include a website, a phone number, email address, and the full address. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. We kept it simple by um, giving a first name, but uh, this is a demonstration. This is a, a demo video, but of course you need to be as captivating as possible as yeah, you need to try and see if you can get people to click on that get started button below uh, the greeting text, because if they click that get started button, they are already a subscriber and you're able to reach out to them more frequently. It's all about um, getting them engaged and uh, communicating with your chatbot. Now, as you can see, it holds emoji as well. You cannot, um, you cannot use this, uh, or add an emoji right here. But if you have a Mac, you can actually do a right click and an emoji and symbols. And then this opens up the, uh, this thing right there. Or you go to a website called Emojipedia. Let me just pull that up as well. Emojipedia. Let me just uh, put that right there. And you search for your uh, emoji and you simply click on that emoji, click on copy, and you add that into the mix as well. So that works, yeah? 
So that's actually adding your greeting text on Facebook. Now we do uh, add, or um, I should say, support everything inside Clever Messenger as well, which is very cool. However, doing this via Facebook has one, well, two downsides. One is one I already, already revealed is you cannot set up a local greeting text. So uh, what this means, you cannot set up a, a different greeting text for people from uh, another country. And two, this does not tie in with the welcome message. So this does not automatically shoot, basically trigger the welcome message you've set up inside Cloud Messenger. And if you don't have a chatbot uh, uh, flow set up at all, then uh, it won't sh fire anything. It won't trigger anything. So that's something to, to, to actually consider. Um, that's why we actually recommend to use Clever Messenger and setting up your greeting text because that automatically ties in with your welcome message and people will get engaged with your chatbot immediately, right? So let me just move on over to uh, Clever Messenger. First, I'm going to cancel this because I do want to have uh, Clever Messenger take care of everything. So I'm going to switch this to off as well. And uh, but yeah, if you don't have Clever Messenger yet and you do want to set up a greeting text, now you know. Uh, moving over to uh, Clever Messenger right here. And right here, I'm on the Clever Messenger page. Um, I already am logged in inside the application and I went to the configuration tab. And this is where you can actually see the greeting text. And this is where we enable or disable it. You can set up emojis um, right here by clicking on this thing. Uh, we can set up a personalization text. This holds anything uh, like the address, the first name, the last name, the same stuff you actually seen on Facebook, but it can also hold custom field values or um, global field values, uh, something that you cannot use in, um, in uh, Facebook. Again, uh, something where we um, where we do a better job than Facebook itself. Uh, global field values are, for example, uh, values, uh, little fields you can uh, uh, install, implement on your uh, on your chatbot, and this can be called back at any time. Uh, it be in your flows, it be in your broadcast, or right here in your greeting text. Now. Um, this is the welcome message I uh, mentioned. That triggers actually automatically once the get started button is clicked. So let me just open up the preview right here. This is how it more or less looks on the phone. We actually need to update that phone into a more uh, modern phone right now. Um, but this is what we should uh, look at right here. This is the greeting text and this is the get started button again, right? So once they click on that get started button right there, it fires the welcome message unless you have disabled it. So you again have the option to either enable it or disable it. And um, this is how our welcome message starts. Um, but again, Facebook doesn't give you that option. Uh, it gives you the greeting text, but once they hit get started, uh, nothing happens. There's no real message and you do want to uh, start or have your people engage with that chatbot, right? So again, that's uh, something we uh, we uh, provide as well in Clever Messenger. Uh, and then finally, but certainly not least, and we have looked around, we are the only ones that are actually making use of this option. So this is the thing I've been talking about. This is local greetings. And again, this is an optional thing. Uh, you can actually see that I'm not using it for our Clever Messenger page. I do have a lot, a, a lot of other Facebook pages where I do use it. Um, but it's very easy. So how this actually works, it actually detects where the user is coming from. And it does this by checking the language the user has put up inside their Facebook profile. For example, I'm Dutch. If I were to set it up in Dutch on my Facebook profile and I set up a um, Dutch greeting text right here, I would see that once I click on the get started button, I would see the Dutch greeting text instead of the English greeting text, right? And I can do this for each and every language, unlimited levels deep. And then um, I can actually customize it in such a way that each and every language has their own greeting. Very, very cool. I mean, don't you think that it would be awesome to have a chatbot that actually greets you in your own language. I think that's pretty cool. We're actually using this because primarily our audience is in the United States, um, uh, primarily English speaking 
uh, audience, so that's why we chose to go with this. However, with uh, one of my other pages, I'm actually using it for French, Dutch, and uh, another language, yeah, Spanish. So I can actually add that right here. And it has the same capabilities. Again, you can use the full address, the first name, uh, any personalization checks of global field values, custom field values, and it holds emoji as well. So pretty cool stuff. Again, we are the only ones that are actually giving you this uh, feature, so use it wisely. Uh, and it's on a, a chatbot basis, right? So you can, um, you don't have to uh, make your entire chatbot uh, Dutch, Spanish, or uh, French. You can actually uh, choose for hybrids. You can actually use one chatbot and um, have it greet in French, Dutch, German, whatever you would like. Uh, Chinese, Japanese, uh, I think we got all the languages uh, from Facebook right here. As you can see right here. I mean, I'm, I'm not even sure what a couple of these languages are, but we uh, made sure that uh, we uh, kept supporting everything. So there's Russian uh, as well. Pretty cool. And Chinese and very, very, very cool stuff. Anyways, that's what I want to show you. So quick summary, um, in order to get people inside your chatbot, communicating and engaging with your chatbot, you want to have a captivating uh, greeting text that allows uh, them um, or basically put people into uh, some sort of mood to actually click on that get started button. Uh, once they click on that get started button, it shoots out the welcome message. That is, if you have access to uh, Clever Messenger. Uh, otherwise, if you only do it via Facebook, uh, there's no way um, that the welcome message be, will be shut out or triggered uh, after you click that Get Started button. So that's something to think about. Um, if you're just uh, over, uh, if you're just looking for a way to spice up your Facebook page and uh, you want to greet people, then uh, Facebook do just um, does a fine job at it. However, if you want the full functionality of chatbots, um, that Facebook has to offer. Uh, you need to go through their API and you need to develop something for your own. But the good news is that you've got app, an app like Clever Messenger who does everything for you, right? So uh, again, that solves that issue. If you want um, people to immediately get into the conversation of your chatbot where your chatbot can actually do its magic, like qualifying the lead, um, showing more information about your uh, company or business, uh, booking in appointments or whatever, uh, if it's tables or movies or whatever, everything. Uh, Ch Chabot can actually do almost everything when it comes to uh, handling customer requirements and um, questions. So that's pretty, pretty neat. Um, yeah, so that's uh, the greeting text in a nutshell for you. That was episode four as well. I actually wanted to keep this short and simple straight to the point. I hope I did a good job. Um, but uh, once I get the um, get in the flow, I always start uh, talking a lot. So uh, I hope that actually um, helped. Uh, again, Clever Messenger is the way to go. Uh, check us out, take us for a spin and uh, have some fun with it. That said, if you like these videos, please like uh, our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel channel, and um, there's more good stuff coming as well. This, this was episode four in the Chatbot Page Hacks series. And uh, yeah, this was Stefan and I will see you soon. Bye for now.